Hello! Today I'm going to show you three different ways to add texture in Clip Studio Paint. Dark blue heart. First of all, I'm going to open a picture that I've already made instead of starting from scratch because... <laughs> because yes. Here we have a very simple cute picture and it is very smooth. But say you don't want it to be that way, you want it to have some texture. Um, there's some different ways you can add texture. <laughs> And the first way that I'm going to show you to add texture, um, you're going to actually need to import picture that is going to be your texture image. I usually like to use paper textures, but you could use um, this method to add texture for different kinds of things. Like you could do wood to just a part of a picture, or you can do um, leather. Or stuff like that to add that kind of texture to the part of the picture that you would like and I just make I want this all to be paper though so I make the paper fill page obviously and just going to do multiply it makes it darker I turn it down a little bit I don't want it to be that much darker but you see there's multiply there's color burn and that makes it a little bit brighter and the texture comes out at a little bit different consistencies throughout the picture. So you can play around with the different um, with the different layer settings to see which one looks the best for your picture. Usually the different burns look the best like color burn, linear burn or multiply or darken are usually ones that work the best but depending on how you're texturing things you can want to probably look at all of them and see how it might work but get ready for the best thing you ever learn for the second way i'm going to show you how to add texture is let's just pull this all the way back up let's turn this back to normal and we're you have to make sure you keep this as this file type right here where it was like a mountains in a box. When you first import a picture, no matter what picture you import, it always looks like that. But then if you turn it into a ras if you rasterize it, it doesn't look like that anymore. And that's bad. And you'll see why. So if we go to here and we do texture combine, BAM! The texture is perfectly combined and the colors are not darkened or affected at all. Everything is perfectly textured with this picture. And you can um, change the strength of it, but it looks pretty gross if it's higher. At least for this picture, I'm gonna put it back down. But see if you, we have this on. If you turn this to rasterize, then it's just gone. It doesn't work. This option is no longer here. So it has to be an imported picture like this. So you can basically do any, you can make your own textures and then import them and then do texture combine if you want. I've never done that before because I don't know, I don't find myself a texture creator person, <laughs> but you could do that if you wanted to and it's really cool. Now, for the third way to add texture, here, let's take this off, let's add another layer, I'm going to name it color texture. I usually like to get this brush, it says blur brush, but pretty much, oh, dropping my pen. Any brush that looks like interesting, basically, like, see how this brush is all crazy. Any brush like that you can use. And this looks like madness right now, but trust me, okay, just, just trust me, this is going to work out. I'm just going to color part of it right now. And then um, I usually do like color burn linear burn or something like that and I turn it down low and 
and you just sort of add random colors throughout and the differentiating colors like this actually adds texture in its own special way it needs to be really bright colors so let me turn this back to normal and turn it all the way up see how bright it is it needs to be really bright colors because if it's not it's not gonna sh show up very well when you turn it all down and I sort of play with how much opacity it is and the colors in different areas to see how it looks and I think this looks pretty nice and so that's adding texture with the color and it goes well combined with the texture combine which I tried to find a tutorial that would teach me this texture combine but I couldn't find one anywhere but I read the manual and found it gosh dang when I had to resort to reading the manual don't have a decent tutorial on the internet to show me the knowledge so that's why I needed to make this tutorial for you today so you don't have to resort to reading the manual because reading the manual is lame <laughs> I hope this video is useful to you and it helps you to make even more beautiful pictures than you already do and I hope you have a super great day 